course, wow. Check out this course, guys. Here we are, NGPC, National Grand Prix Championship Series. We're back once again. It's an eight mile course here, not too far from Joshua Tree, California, 29 Palms, it's awesome. One thing that's really cool about the series is there's a whole lot of factory support. So let's dive into the pits and check some of that out. Big number one on Dante Oliveira's motorcycle, looking to win here. This is the factory KTM team, full factory support. There are four people on this team that work out of that new $53 million facility in Temecula. And these bikes are awesome, but quite a bit different than the ones you see on the Supercross track. Let's look at some of the differences. Always good to see that number one. That means we are dealing with the three-time series champion point leader, Dante Oliveira. Dante, what's it gonna take to win here? Gonna take, uh... A lot of grit and determination, just holding on for the whole hour and a half and charging to the end, no, uh, no weakening. Well, good luck to you. I know you can get it done. It's a fast course, guys. One of the fastest on tour. Trying to keep that number one ready. Beefed up braking. You got the guards as well that you need to protect. Here's some chicken wire that'll help keep the rocks out of the radiator. Different foot pegs. You've got swing arm guard, okay? Of course, the oversized tank as well. They need to run more fuel here in this particular condition. Also beefed up brakes on the back. As you can tell, a little bit different configuration here. The FMF pipe on this machine and it's ready to go, ready for the long haul here in the Grand Prix Series. This series definitely tests the riders' versatility. A little bit of moto, a little bit of desert, a little bit of enduro, a little bit of everything. Second two, I'm going to show you the brand new 2023 Yamaha 450. This thing is a beast. Race team just got one moments ago. It's the sag is on money, he says. What do you set that sag at? 104. 104, he says. 104. This is such a cool series, guys. Remember, they run for about two hours out here. Much different than a 15 minute, 30 minute Supercross moto. And speaking of that, this man, Zach Bell, used to run Supercross and he says he feels like it's way more physically demanding out here. Pretty interesting. And on Saturday, the B-Class will go off. There's more than 1,400 riders here this weekend. 29 Palm Motorsports Complex. Taking a look at the motorcycle that won Glenn, Helen, Young, Ryan, Surratt doing a great job. Your first full season out here, the Grand Prix Series, coming from the Motocross Series. What's that transition been like? Well, it's a lot different. It's a lot faster speeds out here. Not as many turns, just more about holding it wide open. And wide going open, huh? And you and I were talking moments ago because you have a very impressive resume and pedigree. You, as a privateer last year, seventh in Hangtown on the 450s? Yeah. That's amazing. And you're telling me they're not beating down your door over not there in the quite. motocross series, huh? Not quite. Right, well, you found a really good team here. How wonderful does this feel to be running for JCR? Uh, it's great. I can't, uh, can't thank Johnny enough for giving me the opportunity, and uh, we're doing as much as we can with it. Good luck to you. He's running for a Baja legend. Johnny Campbell, the 77, was tough in Glen Helen. It'll be tough here in 29 Palms. Suited up, ready for some pro practice. A 10 minute lap at 90 miles an hour. Great story, too. Cade Walker came over from Europe 11 years, entered one of these races, did well. This team picked them up right away. So come on. So, clearly, this series really presents a great opportunity for a lot of riders that want to extend their career or get noticed. International happening, guys, in the 250 category. Australian Jack Simpson doing a great job leading the points. What's going to be the key to stopping that fast European rider? Just consistency. Um, we're both riding pretty good, we haven't really made any mistakes the best man may win. So no, looking forward to this weekend and the rest of the series to bring it on. I know you got practice, go get suited up. Good luck to you. Thank you. Jack Simpson, all the way from Australia here on his Irvine Yamaha. Hey guys, check this out. We got a real treat for you because we got the stud, Mr. Trevor Stewart and the brand new 2023 Yamaha. Let's find out about this thing. These bikes were hard to get. Everybody wants one. Trevor, I got to ask you, what is the difference between 2022 Yamaha and the 2023? 
Uh, probably just agility. Um, the motorcycle itself is so different. Uh, it's a lot more linear. I think it's a lot more, you know, uh, smaller in the front. Like, I know a big complaint for the 22s and, you know, past was how wide it was. So they've kind of gotten rid of that. What are some of the big changes that they made on the uh, motorcycle? Mostly, I believe, like, motor and chassis. Motor and chassis. Oh, no, you're fine. Go and do your work. We're kinda, not going to hold you up. Kind of just how it feels, uh, to be honest. All around, the bike feels a lot different. Um, yeah, but mostly just better for, for I think, what we're doing. Uh, this track itself is probably pretty one-on-one -on -one out of all the events that we have. Uh-huh. But with that being said, this bike will be, like, a really competitive motorcycle and all the other stuff. It's a lot lighter, it feels like. Handles good. That was a big complaint, like a possible complaint about the motorcycle that it wouldn't handle, but I don't know. It feels, it feels pretty good, so. Good luck, man. Can't wait to see him. It's his first time out on the 2023 Yamaha. I want to know in the comments who wants one, who's getting one. 2023 Yamaha 450F. It is here. Set the sag right there. So on this shot, uh -huh. right here, Okay. looking that way, if you look right there, okay. now go take a look at that. So, so the 2023, oh, is much more narrow? Yes. The 20, slimmer. 2023 is slimmer, guys. Again, here's the 2022. Eight pounds lighter. Eight pounds lighter. Woo! Eight pounds lighter is the 2023, and it's slimmer. Don't need to be there either. Look at all these pro riders getting ready to practice. Let's check that out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. They are ready. All the very the whole crew. Pro practice. Work about ready to go down. There is that brand new 2023 Yamaha. Ready to hit it up. Everybody here. All the top riders. Ready to blast off. Dalton Shiree in the house. They are all here, ladies and gentlemen. Ready for practice. Staying loose, staying warm. A little bit of a delay here. riders out here of all ages that includes my main band seven years old hudson jones hudson good luck today last year you crashed yeah. you're so courageous you come back this year were you scared were you nervous no how, how do you stay so strong and courageous just try to keep on two wheels and hope for the best you the man well good luck wish him well seven-year-old rising star us as long as you get a good product then we're stoked so well that is important check them out where can they check you out online flowvision.com you're awesome what's your name yeah. nice to meet you have a good ride bud good job well thank you guys very much for watching leave your comments down below who wants one of those 2023 yamahas i know i do and please subscribe if you have not already because if you like this video you're going to like everything else that's on this channel in fact here's another video for you dirt bikes desert we got it all guys check it out subscribe in the middle thanks so much you know if there's anything fast motorcycles off-road racing insider is on it